What's up everyone, CD Inferior Games here, welcome back to the channel, and I finally figured it out, folks. I finally got spin tires working the way it's supposed to before all this bullshit uh, hit the fan with the time bombs and everything, so I finally managed to get it working, everything working again, which is awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it. Alright, so this video, I'm going to show you guys everything that i done to get it up and going again. Okay, for, so the first thing I did, I reinstalled the game, show you guys the way I did it. So you want to go to your, your, your Steam file, uh, you right click on Spin Tires, you go to Properties, then you, you, you delete your local game content. After you finish that, you close all this down, then you go to your C drive. Uh, C drive, locate the program files, then you go down to, where is it, Steam, then you see this app cache one here, it's the second one down, you clear all of that, then you restart your computer, then after you finish restarting it, then you go back to Steam, then you install the game, wait until that's installed. And what I did, I disable auto um, auto update, so I did that. Then wait until the game was fully installed. Now the next thing I want you guys to do is go to uh, this website here, spintires.nl. You'll come up to this page here, you click on this page. And you download this file here. Now I have the Spin Tires Crash Fix Region 3. Uh, this is just a file, just in case if another time bomb hits, you'll already have the crash fix. So you download this file, version 4. And you, you can also download Run As Date. Uh, I'll get to this shortly, but uh, you won't need this if you have this file here. So after you finish downloading this file here, all right, so I'm going to download this file now, just in case. So just in case another time bomb hits, I just will have to install this file into the Spin Tires directory folder, then it'll be fixed. So I'll show you guys how to unzip it. I'm, I'm sure you guys already do. No, but I'm just getting this ready just in case another time bomb hits. Okay, where's uh, Crash Fix? Crash Fix version four. I already got version three in the game because uh, another time bomb hasn't hit yet. So I'm just prepping this uh, file here. So open with one roar. So minimize that. Then you go to your spin tires properties. Browse local files. All right, so what you do is you highlight, then you just drag over. You highlight this, then you drag over here. I'm not going to because the uh, version 3 is still up and running the last time I checked. All right, so that was the first fix. The second fix is this run as date. I already got it installed, so you download it, you unzip it, then you drag it over into your spin tires folder. Then you right click, it, it gives you uh, instructions. Make sure you select the, uh, the 30, the 32-bit, because it's a 32-bit game. So yeah, so you select 32-bit, then you get, there's the readme instructions, or you just click on that. This brings you to here, basically you locate spin tires. Unclick this uh, box here, move time forward according to real time. You unclick that one here. Then the date you want to select is Sunday 28, 2016. I made a folder here, so okay. don't forget the date. So this was the date when everything was working correctly, so you re reset that. You hit run, then we'll boot up the game, and away you go. So run as date is a last resort just in case if they don't have any more crash fixes. 
you set back the time. All right, so if another time bomb goes off again, go back to spintires.nl and see if they have an updated version of Spintires Crash Fix. Go to Spintires Legacy, which is another option that you guys could do, but you have to make sure all the mods are for Legacy. Now it's on to the multiplayer. Now I did all this after the fresh reinstall. I did everything. I installed these two programs. Then I installed Crash Fix version 3 and the game worked. But my multiplayer still didn't work and it's, it's something stupid. I should have checked it earlier. But in order for the multiplayer to work, uh, I kept on getting air. Game files differ from the original packages. I looked at the forms and whatnot and figured out what I needed to do. To fix the multiplayer, this is the only file that's supposed to be in this unzipped media folder. All I did was delete all the mods out of this media folder, then fired up spin tires and it worked. Here we go. As you see, this is the latest updated of spin tires, 2512-15C, no crashes yet, and these are all my uh, user made maps and all the regular maps. This is what the crash fix file does, it fixes it so you can see your all your user made maps, and I got all my uh, vehicles that I installed through the work, spin tires workshop, and the Final part, multiplayer, and here it works. I used to get that game files differ from original package error, but since I cleared that unset um, MIDI full, just left the intro video there. Multiplayer works, as you can see, there's a couple of lobbies open, and I believe those are new maps too. <laughs> Alright, so if this video was helpful, please let me know down in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you next time. One last thing, I want to thank the modding community. If it wasn't for the modding community at Spin Tires, this game would have died long ago. And since Ilvi hasn't taken any action to fix their game, I'm sorry, but you haven't. It's the modders that are coming up with the fix. So if you see them in the forums or on the threads, thank them. Because if it wasn't for them, this game would have been dead. Well, that is it for now. Peace out.